Much like common tone diminished seventh chords, other familiar sonorities can arise through contrapuntal motion, in particular, dominant seventh and augmented sixth chords. Consider the following excerpt from Schubert's Gute Nacht. Although the passage is built primarily over tonic harmony, the third measure brings an interesting chromatic detour with G sharp in the left hand. If we were to stop the music halfway through this measure, we'd likely interpret the E7 chord as a secondary dominant, 5-4-2 of 5, and expect it to resolve to 5-6. Instead, however, Schubert treats G sharp, B, and E as neighbor tones over a tonic pedal. In other words, even though the resulting sonority sounds like a secondary dominant, it doesn't act like one. As such, we label it as a common tone dominant seventh to highlight its lack of harmonic function. The E sharp in the right hand of the piano adds a subtle contrapuntal detail by creating a fully diminished seventh chord on the last eighth note of the bar. Another interesting detail worth noting is the text painting. Note how Schubert uses the unexpected harmony on the word stören, which means to interrupt. Chopin uses a similar technique near the beginning of his Etude in F minor, opus 10, number 9. The entire passage takes place over a tonic pedal with just one hint of chromaticism in measure 8, which coincides with a crescendo, a ritenuto, and an accent. One might hear a dominant 7th once again, a 5-6-5 of flat 2 to be precise, but there's a simpler explanation for this linear chromatic chord. Recall that German augmented 6th chords sound like dominant 7ths, but contain a specific set of scale degrees, 1, flat 3, sharp 4, and flat 6, each of which is represented in measure 8. As such, we refer to the chord in measure 8 as a common tone augmented 6th chord. In both cases, even though the chromatic harmony sounds like a familiar chord, it functions differently and arises primarily from contrapuntal motion. The following example compares all three linear chromatic chords side by side. The common tone diminished seventh, the common tone dominant seventh, and the common tone augmented sixth. Always remember that Roman numerals carry specific functional meaning, and simply spelling a chord out is just a small part of the analyst's job. These familiar sounds allow composers to play with our expectations, and it's our job as performers to join in on the game for the benefit of our listeners. Thank you.